All right, welcome back once again on our Thursday evening. Hope you had a great day out there looking good as we look over Fargo. Uh, what do we have for you in just a second? We're going to take a look at those first alert weather headlines. We'll give you another look at this. Here's what we've got in place. Mild weekend with a chance of showers, especially those northern areas. We'll get to that and show you just what's in one second what we expect. Much cooler high temperatures as we head into next week. In fact, first alerting you to a midweek system, which could bring some snow to the region. In fact, take a look at our temperature trend here. Notice what happens is over the next several days, once we get into next week, these temperatures right around the average, average 33 for you by the end of that period. So again, lowering temperatures, opportunity for a storm system heading our direction. We'll let you know how it all translates coming up in just one second. 44 degrees right now in Fargo under a generally cloudy sky, though we did see breaks in the clouds this evening just in time for a pretty sunset. 43 right now. Cloudy in Grand Forks, though we did get a little bit of a nice sunset as well. Grand Forks temperatures again, upper 30s, low 40s, mid 40s across the region. 45 Hallock, that is our warm spot. Again, 44 Fargo, 40 in Bemidji satellite and radar. James River Valley, you're clear. You got sunshine this afternoon. Many areas, especially Lakes Country, Northwest Minnesota, you did not get that same sunshine out there. Take a look at our first alert forecast. Again, you see our temperatures kind of holding steady. We get a little bit of fog in some areas, at least the expectation is especially uh, Red River Valley, then Southern River Valley and into Lakes Country as well. Again, that opportunity for patchy, dense fog, lows dropping down uh, generally in the low 30s, mid 30s, warming back up. Now tomorrow's high temperatures in some cases are going to be well above the norm. All areas are going to be above the norm, but we're going to see a few low 50s out there. We're also going to see uh, more clouds than sunshine. We will get some sun in there, just not a lot. Here is a look at our temperatures at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You see 40s. You also see some low 50s. I do think we're actually going to touch 50 at some point in Fargo tomorrow early to mid afternoon. Extended forecast taking you from Saturday into Sunday. So this is kind of system number one here. That next chance for rain, maybe even a little bit of snow. It's going to pass through quickly. 5 o'clock Saturday. We're going to advance right ahead into midnight. Notice for the most part, other than a few showers, uh, the rain is out of here. Once we jump into certainly Sunday afternoon, i uh, going to see some clearing skies. So again, we even get a little sunshine on Sunday. Now take a look at our snowfall potential. Could see up to an inch extreme northwestern most portions of our region. Keep an eye on that. But we're not expecting much there in terms of snow. What we're looking at as we head into next week, Monday night through Wednesday night, a pretty large weather system expected to move into the region. So depending on the track of this storm, that'll depend on whether we see snow, how many areas actually do see snow across the region. We've got the American model here that's showing you that much of the western half of the area, Devil's Lake Basin, James River Valley, in line for some snowfall. European model model snow pushed a little bit farther off to the west looks like kind of a mix of precipitation. Take a look at our planner for the next 11 days what we have for you. So in the meantime till we get to that point warmer than normal see a lot of mid 40s low 50s for the next four days 39 Tuesday. That's where we're going to see rain. We're going to see potential for snow across the region again. This system still still four to five days away. So coming in line with the weather models again, uh, potential is there for western areas to see maybe a couple three inches of snowfall if everything pans out or it may just be a rain snow mix or no accumulation. It's more likely that we're going to get wet in some way, shape or form and that somebody is going to see snow. Oh, right, right. And it, yeah, I think all areas can get wet. This is a pretty big system that's going to encompass the area. Right, thanks, Wes. Thanks